Season 4, Episode 9, The Birds and the Bees. The aftermath of Brianna's rape was always going to be a tough needle to thread. In narratives about sexual violence, particularly against women, each bears a burden of universality, every story about rape is, in some way, a story about all rapes. It doesn't help Brianna's story that two seemingly contradictory things are true, sexual assault is depressingly frequent in real life, and yet Outlander Rover uses it as a plot device. But the real world stories are the reasons stories of assault should be carefully told, not justifications for scooting a story forward. Watching Brianna struggle at Fraser's Ridge, then, was a cognitive dissonance affair. It is deeply uncomfortable that Brianna's rape was apparently a defining moment for her character. We didn't see enough of Brianna before this to know her as a person, so her character is being formed in front of us primarily as a reaction to her assault. This gets even more complicated given that she's pregnant, likely by Bonnet. This is the sort of story moment that needs as much character specificity behind it as possible to avoid being exploitative and we just don't have that background for Brianna. At least Brianna gets a full episode in which to process what happened. Outlander tends to be myopic about sexual assault recovery. Jamie's healing after his rape took several episodes, while Claire, on the receiving end of countless sexual threats, hasn't been given time to process any, but Brianna gets the narrative space to be affected by her rape. We see her struggling in the wake of her reunion with her birth parents shined away from touch, flinching at the sight of Claire's new wedding ring, disconnected from life at Fraser's Ridge. And she doesn't immediately move past what happened. We see her struggling with her memories and second-guessing her experience, including her confusion and self-recrimination as she finally tells Claire that night, I didn't fight him hard enough. Why the hell didn't I fight him? It's just as well that the rape in last week's episode played out behind closed doors so that we weren't invited to relive the specifics of it this week. Knowing it happened is enough, that said, the episode manages more visceral horror when Claire finds her old wedding ring than it finds for Brianna after she experienced such violence. There's no easy gauge for whether the birds and the bees succeeds, or if it can. The episode tries to show sympathetically the process of someone dealing with rape. But the situation is so fundamentally frustrating that it's hard to imagine a version of this arc that would be satisfying. The episode gives Brianna space to develop after what happened, but developing someone largely in the aftermath of sexual assault is a storytelling tactic that worth in long before this. Showing the emotional impact of assault is important, but Outlander has leaned on rape so many times that this feels like trauma as usual. It doesn't help that the episode ends with Jamie and Ian beating up Roger in a case of mistaken identity, men defending the honor of a woman who wasn't even alerted to, much less consulted about, the return of someone who ostensibly hurt her. Maybe next episode, the way Outlander views Brianna's agency will change. It just hasn't yet.